Here we are with Todd from Silver Fire. Don't run away from me. I need you right now, man. Look at the stuff you're doing here. Tell me about it. Okay. So we specialize in the most efficient biomass stoves. We have the light, largest selection on the planet. Uh, my specialty is combining secondary gasification. So all our stoves reburn. This is an example of the world's first clean burning tent stove. So you can see right here, the firebox inside the double wall, double burn. Just like your catalytic converter in your car before anything comes out, your tailpipe is reburning. So obviously we're frying, walking, high fire power right here with the double cutout on the stove, or I invert the double cutout for medium high heat over the baffle. This is the first tent stove that's burning the wood efficiently and cleanly. The second time, reburning all the hydrogen, methane, and CO2 smoke. This is my oven. Now, hours later, if we're done baking and I have a nice bed of embers established in the stove, I take my bake rack out of the oven. This is a 50 pound stove. I can carry it in my backyard or outside my tent. I can grill. And if you come over on this side, you can see we also have a half gallon water tank. So this is the multi-function tent dragon that burns cleanly and efficiently. So you have one that looks like it's from the age of old. And then over on this side over here, we got the age of new. What the heck is that thing? That is a very efficient uh, vacuum tube solar cooker. And I don't have a dog in any fight. I design rocket stoves, tea lead stoves, cookware. This is an example of my teapot that's saving half your butane, propane, natural gas due to the heat exchanger. This is my dragon pot. We're heating the wall, not just the bottom. So this is the fastest open flame, most efficient pot, faster than a Kelly kettle, more surface area. We have cost and needle drain holes in the lid. Now, I do a lot of humanitarian work with these stoves. So when you're done cooking your rice and beans in the third world, you need to retain that water. And uh, for example, this is the only rocket stove that burns twice. It has uh, a heat shield in the bottom, so it's the only rocket stove you can put on a wood picnic table and won't burn it. A thousand of these are going out to the Marshall Islands this week. Uh, they're not allowed to touch the palm tree, but they take the brown spath on the beach, tear it into half-inch strips, and this is how they will sanitize and cook their meals with this stove for that humanitarian project. Uh, Christmas week, I was in Puerto Rico with our gas frying hunter. You can put a Chevy hubcap on it, your redneck cooking, smoker box, Himalayan salt block, gourmet grilling, frying pans, whatever you want. This um, solar cooker, is your evacuated tube. Now the advantage of um, vacuum tubes over box cookers, and I sell all of them. I have uh, the Sport, I have the Sun Focus, um, I have the adjustable solar cooker boxes. What is the limitation? I'm from Oregon, so I'm gonna tell you there's a lot of solar meals. Stoves are first line. I've had a lot of solar meals where I finish them on the stove in Oregon because I'm in higher latitude, heavy gray days. So this opens up this is the same tube that are in solar panels. So they get two times hotter than box cookers. Now, a lot of them that are on the market though, there's a volume issue. They don't hold enough food. This is the first one that's really brilliant. Um, I also have sold the Ghost Suns. We've had those. And um, they're just too limited for a serious volume of food. What's brilliant about this is it's a food it's a tube within a tube, so I can do two independent meals or one very large meal. Also, you can see I have a hot tea carat. And what's really brilliant is this is a suitcase. I've broken the Go Sun tubes, and this one protects the tube because it's a suitcase. And also notice the sundial. The concentric rings here. We got high firepower, uh, low firepower, medium. So this is a meaningful volume for a real family. And that's why I like this. This is my favorite vacuum tube cooker that gives an appropriate volume for a large family. 
Yeah. And you and you you personally have your hands in the thoughts of all these. I mean that's that's correct. From your own life usage, right? I mean yes. what what it, have you found has so, been important for you? Well, it, first of all, any uh, preparedness product if I can't use it on a daily basis, I eat three times a day. If I can't use it every day, it has no value for me, for me personally. And uh, I make everything all the way up to the cleanest burning bread pizza. Um, for me, cooking, I have... Uh, what, do, what, do, what do you take pride in over here? Well, I have a lot of fun creating all these products. And uh, so that's been very rewarding. And I've helped a lot of people and poor people along the way. Christmas week, I was in Puerto Rico um, for folks that lost everything. Um, my hunter stove right there burns two and a half hours on twigs, double the time on hardwood. And although most of my work has been focused around cooking and sanitizing water, the real eye-opener here was these women that lost their roofs, 50 years of insulation, grime and gunk fell in their homes, and they're on their knees, and they need the ability to heat massive amounts of hot water because with uh, American tax dollars, FEMA was sending generators down there and there was no fuel. And these stoves, there sticks everywhere, allowed them to heat massive amounts of hot water and clean on their hands and knees for hours. And that stove had a significant impact because of its ability to burn down like a candle. They would have gone crazy with the rocket stove, heating that water, feeding it constantly. So these, these, all these products are all very different and they're all very, very important. I'll show you our little backpack stoves over here. Now this is our littlest gasifier right here. Just a couple minutes to a boil. It all folds up right beside the top. Fire starter, spoon, and fork. You simply motif flame up. Pick up your scrub. All the hot flue gases are going up the double wall, reburning twice. So that's for solo use for one. Or this is for two, a kit for two. It serves as a wind skirt. This pot here is more efficient. I put pasta needle drain holes, you get the same stove, double forks, utensils, fire starter, and a solar lamp. And it all breaks down just like that for two or for one. If I have to get my hands on these like right now, what am I going? Where am I going? Where, what am I doing? Well, there's no real answer. There's, they all fit and they all, most of my customers have. I want, say I want to buy one right now. Where do I go? Silverfire.us. <laughs> there it is. My man, you have beautiful and amazing equipment. And thank you for being a part of the efforts to save the world. Thank you.